bit about your journey to A&M and why A&M? Uh, it's been a long one. Um, you know, previously I spent four years at Kansas, um, just growing as a person, as a human, as a football player, obviously. Um, my journey took me here because this is home. Um, I'm from Dallas, Texas. You know, DeSoto has great ties here. I graduated from DeSoto, and then um, my my mom always wanted to come here. So my uh, mom, like six two, so she uh, played basketball and had a scholarship offer to come to a and and didn't end up coming because of um, my grandma had a heart attack, so she stayed home. And so I got a picture of my mom and my aunties and and them girl saying 12 men as kids. So, like, I've been a fan, been wanting to do. And I love Elko and Moffitt, honestly. Where's the excitement level getting to play in front of the 12 men? Ooh, it's a different feeling, man. I, it's, it's nothing like I ever seen, man. I can't wait to get out there 110 strong and kick some ass. <laughs> yes, sir. So did you watch the Aggies growing up? Did you ever come to a game down here? Of course, never came to a game. I uh, had a junior day. I still upset uh, Jimbo <laughs> didn't offer me. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Uh, Crystal Reed. Crystal Reed. Uh, yeah. She's a basketball player. Yeah. Lincoln High School. Do you feel comfortable playing anywhere on the line? Anywhere. Uh, I, I, I joke around with the guys. I always tell them I'm not an offensive lineman. I'm an OW, man, meaning offensive weapon. <laughs> I'll line up out there and X if you need me to. How do you feel about the uh, growth of your offensive line? I know you guys have some guys that have through practice and through the spring and now and everything. Oh, it's been phenomenal. Uh, coach Cushion is a great coach. Um, just fine-tuning a lot of these things. And, you know, we got a lot of young guys. These guys are, like, I ain't never been around a group of young guys like this, like Martin Abu, Chase Basantes, Trey Zoom. You know, them guys right there show you how to work and how to work hard. Um, Trey Zoom is a great leader. He do it the right way and got a voice in the locker room, Chase. Um, just the strongest, probably one of the strongest dudes in this whole facility. Um, like squatting 615 for three and then li- looking at the camera with a smile is just different. Uh, Mark, he's so advanced, so smart, um, obviously me. And then who, uh, Chase, um, let's see, Crown, he's long, athletic, and uh, he's just been helping me with my right tackle stuff. And Deuce Father be just uh, giving me some insight on and off the field by Aggie Man. Talk about a little bit. I know with Kansas, you play left guard, right guard, right tackle. Mm-hmm. Here, I mean, just the difference between guard and tackle. If you could explain the difference between those. The two difference guys. between is Shamar Turner or Nick Scored. That's the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> Which is easier? Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> it's an eight game every day. Uh, but seriously, um, at tackle, I, f- I'm, I feel like I'm a very athletic body, big, long arms. At tackle, I can hang out there with the best of them. And guard, I feel like I can dominate anybody because my run, run game ability and being so athletic, then they remove my feet, you know. No, it's early still, but what do you feel like the biggest differences have been that stand out to you between Big 12 and SEC so far? Uh, these guys are just heavier, man. Some of the same bodies that you look at at Kansas and the Big 12 and you look at here is just way different. Like, we got guys that just look the same or look bigger in the Big 12 that just don't weigh the same. And just the, uh, the fire in a lot of these guys, man. You know, they all big-time football players, and they feel that way about themselves and very confident. So just being around a bunch of alphas. You mentioned that your mom helped you see what A&M was, mm-hmm. what did it mean to your mom when you decided that you were going to come here? It means so much. Um, just continuing, like, my mom never missed a game, like, just so making it easier to, for her to be here and my grandparents who's getting sick a little bit, just making sure they can see me and continue to see me because they made the six, seven hour drives to Kansas and the turnaround weekends and all the flights everywhere else. So that and also, um, just the Aggie Land Pride, getting my uh, Aggie ring, graduating from Mays. Kansas was a program that has really come a long way the last few years. Yeah, that's what you, what you take from your experience there in a program that really built itself up while you were there? Yeah, we turned that thing around. You know, my fresh my freshman year we went 0 and 10, and you know the, the year I left we won 10 games. So um, just how culture, how important culture is, how important uh, accountability is, and work that. Th- I think a, I think you may have started off over 400 pounds. And yeah, 14. Physical transformation. How, how do you do that with all that? Pace? Hard work and dedication and the great people around me. Um, 
just a lot of time in the weight room, two, three times a day, and uh, just eating right, man. I didn't change. I didn't go on a diet or nothing. I changed my lifestyle, so that's why I've been able to maintain. Uh, I think during my journey, the lowest I've been was like 295, and then put the weight back on. And now I'm 330. Can you give us an idea what like 410? Meals were like as opposed to. <laughs> 410 meals is anything I can get my hand on. <laughs> and right now, just uh, still eating, enjoying what I'm eating, just eating in moderation and also uh, just making better decisions. Uh, Jordan Peterson at Kansas. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your, and I have a different side of the ball, but what was your relationship like him? And oh, me and JP go way back. He was there my freshman year, so he's been there the whole time. He's seen the transformation. And also, you know, I uh, had fun with the DBs. Um, I hung with them a lot at Kansas. And, you know, pregame, part of my pregame ritual is going through the DB drills with Peterson and uh, the DBs. So um, I always had a great connection with Peterson. So it's uh, fun to see him uh, around here, you know, at his alma mater. Thank you all. Y'all have a blessed day.